Hey guys, what's going on? It's Imaginary World here. Um, I'm just going to be showing you guys how to use OTT. This is going to be just some basic knowledge on OTT. So if you already know how the OTT compressor works, um, you might want to click off this video. Um, I'm just going to be showing you an example here of where I used it in my song on these vocals. So let's go ahead and play that. So it makes a pretty large difference there. Um, let me go ahead and just remove the OTT and we'll start from scratch on this. Um, as you can see, I do have a limiter at the end because with OTT on, it was clipping a little bit and I'll kind of go over that with you. Also, um, there's a saturator. So that already gives quite a bit of character to the vocals. If you want to see how I did these vocal chops um, or vocal chops like it and how I use saturator on my vocal chops, I have a video, I'm going to leave a card at the top and it's going to show you guys uh, how I did that. So let's see here. So here's where you're going to find OTT to start. You're going to go to your audio effects and you're going to go down to multiband dynamics and then OTT. You've probably heard of it because quite a few people like this version of compression. So just as default, it's probably already going to sound pretty decent on these vocals. Let's see. So it's lowering the volume quite a bit, um, but we'll let's just go over the features here. So this, the red boxes right here, these are going to be your, think of it as threshold on a compressor. Um, so basically, you got uh, your inputs, so that's what's coming in, and then you have your threshold for high, mid, and low, and you can also select the frequencies. I'm kind of just going to leave everything default um, and just kind of adjust the compression. Um, and then you also have your attacks and releases over here. Again, I'm going to kind of leave those as is. I might bring up the attack a little bit so those hits punch through a little bit more. In fact, I'll go ahead and just do that now. Bring it up just a little bit and hear how that sounds. I just want like a lot of punch from those, uh, from those chops. So let me bring the release down a little bit too. Let's see how that sounds. Yeah, so those are punching a little bit harder. I'm probably going to bring the release down some more. So yeah, I'm good with, I'm, I'm okay with that. So basically, let's go ahead and just adjust what, the threshold here. up a little bit on the mids and I'm actually gonna just turn this off on the lows So there we go. Now there's a little bit, I'm going to bring the attack down as well on the mids, but there's a little bit less like bouncing around in like the low to mid range that you could probably, you probably heard it. Um, basically I want that snap in the, in the top. That's why I have the attack and the release set like that. So it's really snapping. Uh, and I do have a video on this as well to show kind of how compression works, but it's mainly for drums. Uh, you guys can check that one out too. Um, but this is basically I'm just trying to get it to snap and sound kind of smooth in the mids, but snap in the highs. So you're getting that, um, I mean, you hear the punch in the vocals when it's chopping right here. And that's really going to punch through in the mix. But I mean, other than that, this is pretty much how I would use it and just kind of adjusting the threshold and the input and output. Really just basic use of OTT. Um, let's go here. Let's go ahead and hear how it sounds in the mix. See if I need to turn up the output at all. Um, and also, if you find that that's just too aggressive, I like how it sounds for this song. But if you want to use just like a little bit, get a little bit of the OTT flavor, you can use this mix knob right here. It says amount, but you know it's mix. I'm 
I just want it all the way up. I want it to be super aggressive. I might actually bring up the output though a little bit. All right, so let's go ahead and hear how that sounds in the mix. You can see the limiters going pretty hard here, but that's okay. I'm, I'm not too worried about that. I just want this to sound super aggressive, pretty much throwing a lot of rules out the window on this one, but I think it sounds pretty good in the mix. So that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys learned something, then great. Go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you guys have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. But other than that, you guys have a great day, and thanks for watching.